What's up everyone? Sean Count Blagrath here with an album review, this time the 2012 Century Media Records release of Lacuna Coil's Dark Adrenaline. Well, this album I did not have high hopes for. Well, let me go back a little bit. I am a diehard Lacuna Coil fan of their older material. From their self-titled EP up to Karma Code. I even enjoyed Karma Code to an extent. It's not nearly as good as uh, Unleashed Memories, let's say, which is my favorite Lacuna Coil album and possibly one of my favorite albums of all time. It's nowhere near as good as that. But I was... It seemed like there was a missing link between Coma Lies and Karma Code. And what I was really hoping for with Shallow Life was that Missing Link album that would bring the sounds fully together and make it sound more cohesive. But instead what we got was an absolutely awful, atrocious pile of trash known as Shallow Life featuring some awful tracks on there, especially one that stands out to me as I Like It, which is a horrible song. I don't care what anyone says. And after that album left a bad taste in my mouth, I wasn't looking forward to this at all. But then I heard Trip the Darkness, and that blew me away. I was actually very impressed by uh, Trip the Darkness, and which really set my hopes up higher for that Missing Link album. And I'm going to say it, we have it. This album is the missing link between Coma Lies and Karma Code. It really blends the old and the new together in a way where it seems genuine and not forced, which is something I absolutely hate. That Shallow Life record almost seemed forced, and it just wasn't good, and it wasn't doing it for me. This time around, you have some very catchy hooks. And when I say catchy, I don't mean like the Shallow Life catchy of pop. This has some pop element to it, but it's not nearly as strong. Um, the verses really remind me of Shallow Life to an extent, but the choruses are really reminiscent to the older Lacuna Coil sound. And for me, it's a blend of Unleashed Memories and Karma Code. And especially in the choruses with Christina's vocal performance, it really has that deeply emotional feel that she had in her voice on Unleashed Memories, which is something I really missed. Um, the guitars on this album are actually pretty damn heavy. Um, especially for Lacuna Coil, they're not one of those bands that typically is a heavy band. But to be honest, there's actually quite a bit of a bottom end to the guitars. It sounds like they've tuned down, if I'm not mistaken. It sounds like they've actually tuned down with their seven strings. And it adds a whole new dimension to the music. Um, it makes it a little bit deeper of a listen than before. It seemed kind of a shallow listen, shallow life was. And the guitars really seemed flat. This time they have a lot more pop to them, a lot more oomph. Um, it's still not heavy per se in the metal uh, realm, but it's still definitely uh, much heavier than shallow life. The riffs are very good, They're, they will get stuck in your head, uh, especially in, uh, I believe it's Kill the Light, that's got some really good riffs, especially in uh, Trip the Darkness. That has some incredible riffs, I love that intro riff. Um, it's kind of stuttery, it's almost got a uh, progressive feel to it, which I really like. Uh, the bass... They've really cut the bass back a lot on this one, especially when you compare it to Karma Code. Shell Life didn't have that loud bass like uh, Karma Code had, which was really reminiscent of Korn. But I don't really miss that bass. And at first I really liked it, but now I'm glad that it's in the background. It's doing its job. It's keeping the rhythm between the drums and the bass. It really blends in well. It sticks with the guitar at times. It breaks off from the guitar at times. It's very good. Um, the drums, uh, 
absolutely great performance by Cristano. Uh, he's a great drummer. His beats are actually pretty damn hard to play in some songs, not all of them, but this performance that he's done is actually pretty damn good. I'm actually impressed by it. The drum sound, great sounding as usual. I've never had a grape with their drum sound. Um, vocally, uh, I'm going to start off with Andrea, the male vocals. The male vocals are used a lot more than they have been in the past. On the last record, it was ma mostly a Christina record, and really in past albums it was mostly that, except for on uh, their debut of Inner V, which I probably said the name wrong. Um, his vocal performance was a lot more dominant on that one, a lot more out there. Christina still had the lead parts, but he still had a lot of parts where with the last few releases, he had some here and there, but overall it wasn't uh, that much. And with this, he has a lot more of his singing parts. He doesn't scream at all. He hasn't since uh, Coma Lies, which is a real disappointment to me because he has some great growls, especially on uh, Unleashed Memories and the Half-Life EP. His growls were just punishing, but now he doesn't use them. His singing's good, but... He's never been the most gifted singer, so I mean, take it that way you will. I think he's got a great voice, he's just not the best. Uh, he fits with the sound, his voice blends in very well with Christina's. And speaking of Christina's, this is probably her best performance since Como Lies. Um, I'm blown away by some of her uh, performances, once again, in uh, Kill the Light and the next few tracks after that, which I can't think the name of, sadly. They were very um, bombastic at times, almost. It really felt like she was putting her best performance out there, and she's done it, and she did a great job with it. Um, her softer voice is absolutely beautiful, and I can't think of anything bad to say. Uh, only gripe I have with this record is it does get really repetitive of the verse, chorus, verse, chorus, intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, end. Which is how every song on this record is. So that lack of variation really gets tiresome. But overall, this is an, it's so much of a better release than Shallow Life. I was expecting to rip this album apart, and I'm, I'm honestly glad I didn't have to do that because... As I've said, I've been a huge fan of Lacuna Coil, and I'm glad I didn't have to rip it. This is going to be an album where older Lacuna Coil fans will grab it um, and really find something to enjoy. Uh, newer Lacuna Coil fans will like it, and if you don't like Lacuna Coil, you'll hate this. That's all there is to it. Um, if I had to give this a score, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. It's a very enjoyable listen. It's not the best, but... I recommend it to everyone, especially Lacuna Coil fans of whatever era. Really highly recommend this to you. So, uh, 7 out of 10. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, keep it metal.